Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at this question on the community. Now this question from Jacob is all about uh, exporting data from an issue, but automatically when the issue status is changed to done. Now this question is uh, slightly different from uh, usual questions where people ask about how to export data. Now what Jacob is trying to do, I think he's trying to access the Jira issue data using uh, Python. And uh, of course, uh, Jacob is trying to use Jira REST API to retrieve the information. Now the main thing that, I mean, of course, you know, using REST API, you can retrieve the issue details. That is not really, uh, that is not really uh, difficult. For example, you may have uh, an issue in Jira. And if you use uh, this endpoint, REST API 3 slash issue slash in hyphen 201 of, I mean, this is of course my issue key you can uh, retrieve your uh, your jira issue details so basically this json now the main thing is that how to do it when something happens in jira so let us say you have configured your jira application or your python application which is uh, looking at uh, this particular endpoint whenever you hit this endpoint you will get some data back now fortunately there is a way in jira to basically call an external webhook so if you have let us say your application which can uh, have uh, these uh, webhooks that can uh, maybe basically a url that you can trigger from anywhere maybe from jira you can actually uh, do this and for doing this you need to first configure a web webhook in uh, your jira and then you, you you can actually trigger it using a post function so this question is all about how to do it when the status is changed from let us say in progress to done so you can actually trigger this webhook and let me show you very quickly and by the way you can look at this particular page about managing webhooks and uh, i'll open my jira instance and i will try to explain very quickly so the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to um, look at your uh, webhooks so go to the webhooks i mean you need to have jira admin rights and uh, you can see here that uh, you need to create a webhook here. So let, let me create uh, one webhook. And when you create a new webhook, like uh, transition to done, and uh, you can enable it and you have to basically use this endpoint. So this endpoint is important here, where you can pass uh, some details from the issue, like, you know, the maybe you want to pass in the or maybe you don't need to pass in anything maybe you can just uh, uh, let your application know that something has happened that the issue has transitioned and then your application can make a call back to your jira instance and then you can uh, you know select some issue some some issue related uh, events uh, you can of course may, maybe these events are not really relevant but because you are trying to trigger it from uh, the transition so here it says a transition, no linked transition. So what I'll do, I'll probably create this. And after creating this webhook, this is of course right now enabled. I can go to my workflow. So let me open one of the on one of the workflow here. Let us say I have this uh, issue, which is right now in done status, but that is not the point. I'm trying to show you how to configure it. So you can go to the project settings and then uh, you can uh, basically create this uh, post function in your uh, workflow so let us open one of the workflow any workflow i'm just trying to show you i mean i just have one workflow so let us click on the edit and let us go to this transition called to do to done and uh, when you do this you can then access the page this interface from where you can uh, create conditions, validators, triggers, or in our case, post function. So I, I, I already have one post function called our uh, webhook, like a send, send this, like trigger a webhook, but I'll probably do it for, you know, for you guys again. So add a post function. And uh, if it's called down, there is something called as trigger a webhook, which is uh, right now I've selected it and then you can select here uh, 
transition to to do and add and that is it if you publish your uh, workflow you can then uh, go back to the webhook you can then uh, refresh it and then you will notice here that uh, there will be a new there will be a new um, transition done of blah 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 workflow and now your uh, webhook will be basically the thing is the, the, the main thing that we are trying to do here is that we are trying to let an external application know that this issue has transition and uh, then it is up to you maybe you can send some issue data or maybe you can then uh, once you let your other application know maybe you can then call make, make a call back to your to your jira instance to retrieve the final state of the issue maybe you want to retrieve all the jira issue details using the rest api and uh, by the way if you're watching my video for the very first time i have plenty of uh, working examples videos where i've shown how to use uh, jira rest api so you can go to my website and then go to courses and then take a look at mastering jira rest api and mastering uh, jira cloud automation i'm saying here cloud automation because uh, in one of the video i also uh, showed how to trigger this uh, automation uh i mean your your jira automation from outside and uh, this is something that of course can be done uh, very easily so your uh, your your workflows your uh, uh automations they all can be uh, triggered using this uh, uh webhook and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you today and it's a nice thing it's a it's a very nice and simple thing that you can do and uh, really useful so that is all i wanted to talk about and share in this video if you want to learn more of these uh, simple things that uh, you know you can do with jira uh, i highly recommend you to spend some time and learn about uh, rest api because using rest api especially if if you're on cloud you can actually do a lot of wonderful things because uh, on cloud you do have rest api and you do also have uh, automation so if you are missing some automations that you maybe were uh, used to when you were using uh, jira on server where of course you have lot more options because on server you can have script runner i mean of course we have script runner on cloud but on cloud uh, you have to basically rely on the rest api for interacting with jira and that is what i wanted to talk about today so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new in this video thank you very much bye bye